Year 11s, listen up. GCSE physics paper two is fast approaching and for a lot of you, this is your last exam. This video is going to make sure you make the most of it because there is still time to drag up that physics grade or drag up that combined science grade. These are my last minute revision tips, things that I did to get a grade nine and exam predictions for paper two. There is no time to waste. I'm not about to waste any more of it. So this video is going to be less than two minutes long, but do not worry, I have uploaded an extended version on YouTube. So click the link in the comments and my bio for more exam predictions and last minute tips. Physics paper two is one of, if not the most, mathematically rigorous science paper at GCSE. You have forces, waves, electricity. It is not enough to just be able to do the maths. You need to understand why you are doing the math because it's all well and good being able to get four out of four on a big calculate question. But then if there's a two marker after it that says, explain why this works and you have no idea why you have done what you have done, then you're not gonna get the marks. But one of the most helpful things that I did for GCSE Physics Paper 2 was to make these cheat sheets that explained every step of a process, whether it be a calculation or whether it be something like the life cycle of a star, explain each step, but then why it was happening. But also be thinking, how does this relate to other different subtopics and spec points? So we've got objects in space, redshift. How does this relate to the electromagnetic spectrum, which you have also got on this paper. Visible light, how does redshift work? Now, paper two prediction, I think you will get a big question on electricity and the national grid. Transformers and why they're required to increase, decrease voltage. Remember that you've got maths here, you've got your transformer equation, but you've also got your logical. Of course, you need a step up transformer when power is leaving the power station and going into the pylon. Objects in space, I think you're likely to get a question on the life cycle of a star. If you get a six marker on that, then count your blessings. But I think it's likely that you'll get a specific question on one of the stages. So understand how they all work and why they all happen. Electromagnetic waves, remember the song or any acronym you use to remember them and then the uses and dangers of each type of wave. Magnets and electromagnetism understand the difference between permanent and induced. Something that people struggle with is how the current in a magnetic field experiences a force. At least that was something that I struggled with so make sure you go and understand that if you don't already. In a question on lenses and ray diagrams understand the importance of using scientific terminology. Convex, converge, concave, diverge. What does this mean? Never describe a lens as curved. I also think it's likely that you will get a question on Hooke's law. So be confident with the difference between elastic and plastic deformation and then also the equation. But then not just be able to do the equation, why does it work? And please bear in mind that in those calculate questions, they like to give you numbers that don't directly fit into an equation. You normally have to feed it through another equation before you get them all. If you want more predictions and more exam tips, check my YouTube video.